Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dr. Stone season 2 episode number 8. Okay, the previous episode, uh, things are starting. The whole infiltration into uh, like Sukasa's territory and not attacking them but capturing their cave. Now, like in the previous episode, um, Ukiyo uh, got into the team and a few others. Now, uh, Ukiyo's main, you know, uh, condition for getting into uh, Senku's team was do not have, you know, uh, kill any person, like no bloodshed. And obviously Senku had that kind of, a, like, Senku had already planned on that. So, like, yeah, like, he, he, like, he decided to do that and like Ukyo also accepted said that okay then then I'll like join you guys and now I'm thinking you know like no one like no like almost no cat like people like none of them are in like Sukasa's team only your guys there and the other you know the other like the other like soldiers or whatever like the other side characters or the mob characters as they say so will the two of them really be able to take Senku steam on like I know Tsukasa is the strongest primate and yoga is pretty damn impressive but like two versus so many of them hmm I don't know let's just see you know like uh, and oh but uh, I think the m main advantage is on Tsukasa's team because they're attacking and Senku's team is going to defend you know it's always the like disadvantageous uh, thing is defending a place like you won't be able to go and attack you won't be able to go into offense you have already you, like you have to de defend yourself and Sukasa's team can like come attack you and then they go away and like you know take some rest and come again so i think that's a uh, advantage of Sukasa's team like they're attacking they're on the fence so and senku cannot kill anyone like uh, like he doesn't want to and also ukyo came in on that condition so anyways uh, like let's just see let's just see this episode how this goes so yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started with Dr. Stone Season 2, Episode Number 8. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, is this the nitric acid? Oh, alright. Random volcano. What is this? This is not. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, oh, is this, are they showing how they like, you know, washed up into this place? Like they were near a random, you know? Oh, I kind of wondered, you know, how did Senku like end up in that place? Okay, so there was like some kind of huge flood, you know, something. And the flood kind of washed Senku's body. And thankfully all the other, obviously because Taiju, Tsukasa, they were all together. So like their bodies also came alongside Senku's body. All right, kind of clear ups up on that front. Oh, the strongest primate. <laughs> Yep. The Miracle Cave. Yep. Gunpowder that can, yeah. You know, two sides of the same coin. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Yoga's opening his eyes. That's not good. Okay, here we go. We're going to. 
<laughs> he still thinks Yo is dead. Oh my god. Oh. Well, I don't blame him, like. Ah, uh, there you go. He's like, what the? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, time to go. <laughs> Bluff cannon. People will start, you know. <laughs> yeah. For a little bit, you know. Yeah, for a limited amount of time. 20 seconds, yep. Yeah, so in that time, they have to go and capture the cave. Nope. Okay, Magma, calm down. Magma. <laughs> okay. I really did not expect you know like um like all of like almost all of them joining like Senku's team Ukyo um then uh Nick uh, what was her name Nikki Yeah They have your yeah, iron weapons I can see like Kwaku has a shield. Fire and Okay, let's see. All right. Yeah, as I was saying, like I really was not expecting so many of them to, you know, join Senku's team. Like like that, just like that. So, yeah, like it's kind of a surprise and like like so many of them joined, like not all of them joined, uh, two of them joined and also the other like characters they recruited in the previous episode. Uh, we don't know their name obviously so I cannot mention them. But like they joined and two of them are like unable to fight in Sukasa's team. Homura who is captured and Yo who like <laughs> ran away. So like I was really surprised at the way they're you know power like the amount of people Sukasa had under his command suddenly like reduced by such a margin like that was not something I ever expected but yeah like Sukasa himself is like hmm so I guess like they needed to nerf him a little bit <laughs> oh my god Okay. Final battle. Okay. That's a straightforward name. Countdown start. Okay, 20 seconds. Come on. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Sulfuric acid and <laughs> you, son. It'll mix with fuel made with alcohol and coal ash, iron powder. <laughs> okay, let's see. There you go, run! Run for your lives! <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Thankfully, Sukasa is not here at that time, he's at the grave. Nope, no time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Over all the traps, come on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, run, run, run for your lives. 
<laughs> hmm. Okay. 14 more seconds. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Use, you know, use the blunt side of the... Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. The tank. The tank of the team. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a carbon word. <laughs> oh. Well, that's Taiji for you. Oh, damn! The precision! <laughs> Whack him! Oh, boy. Okay, Magma, don't, you know, kill someone. Oh! Oh, no, oh, no. Come on. Okay, now what? <laughs> yeah, what now? <laughs> okay, get out. Okay, is he going to like push it? Oh, what? What the hell? What is that? Some kind of, uh, like, Sonic Bomb, okay. What? We're going to sit down. Oh, damn! Wow, that's clever! But obviously, this is Senku, so that, this will be clever. Acoustic weapon. <laughs> Wow. Well, you didn't kill them, but you damaged the eardrums. Like, I doubt <laughs> that eardrums are okay. I doubt it. Oh, this is that girl. Okay, she's going to... Oh my god. <laughs> mm, Alright. Oh, Ukiyo is here. Oh! <laughs> the, the jiggle figure physics of this girl. All right. Um. Uh, um. Okay. All right. Five seconds. Oh. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, the sonic bomb. Oh my God! Too many of them, you know. Yeah. What is he doing? Oh, oh! What the? My God! <laughs> I'm sure that's physically impossible, but anyways. Game over, guys. <clears throat> Alright. Mission complete, but now to defend.
none okay okay all well and good <coughs> okay you guys should probably you know like start oh, all right <laughs> yeah. Well, he did it. They did it. Nikki was keeping an eye on them, I, I could see, you know? Like, she always kept an eye on them. Wow. Okay, don't drop it! Taiju, don't drop it! Yeah, but, um... You know, you guys start preparing for defending this place. <clears throat> yeah, like we have trouble coming. Oh, they're going to make it now. All right. Oh, she, he's ready. That's when charcoal, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they're coming. Yep. Get ready, guys. Yeah, they did. They're coming. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh no. Oh no, Ukyo. What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, like, you're screwed. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, Sukasa is also here now. But, like, is Ukyo okay? Like, he's bleeding and... Oh, great. Oh, God. Oh, my... You know, I was saying before this episode started that are they going to, like, didn't they, like, reduce their power too much? I take it all back, like, oh boy. Okay. <sighs> mm. <clears throat> <laughs> oh boy, well. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, great. Wow. Ugh. Now what? Oh.
Ah, ok. <clears throat> oh no, like... I really hope they don't turn on them, you know? The people they recruited. <clears throat> They're like, what the hell? This is not Lillian. Oh boy. <coughs> okay, I'm sure Senku has some kind of backup plan. Um, Senku. Uh. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, like... Come on, does he have any plan? Yeah, there... Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, he's correct, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's correct. <clears throat> um, can someone pick Ukyo up? Like, he's bleeding in the ground? <laughs> like, um... But a person is dying behind you, Ukyo. Come on, guys, like pick him up. Uh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, Kohaku was able to fight, you know, kind of to not toe to toe, but all right. Okay, okay, two versus all of them. Come on. Okay, Kohaku, come on, don't don't rush into it. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, the seed worker. <clears throat> Just beat him up then. <laughs> like, what else? Okay, maybe they kept some of them in back in the cave or something. I don't know, like something. Oh, great. Mm, yeah, who controlled the nitric acid? Oh, wait, what is he going to do with that, whatever that is? is what is that, a pipette? Yeah, that's a pipette, isn't it? Okay, God, wow, this episode. Now, you know, uh, there's only one concern for this, like, in this episode, that is Ukyo, like, what, what happened to him, like, ah, uh, like, he's, like, 
like sprawled on the ground bleeding out uh i don't know i hope uh, you know like it did not like get any vital spot like maybe his hand has gotten stabbed or some place like not the stomach or something like that's the only thing i like hope that's the case all right so uh, now like before i started this episode i was saying like um like yes yeah, kasa and yoga they are like two of them so like how are they going to you know fight against so many of senku's people um yeah i take that back like these two are enough <laughs> Like there are those like you know um like over leveled characters <laughs> like okay is that the end yeah that's the end like there are those over leveled characters like like yoga is like level eighty <laughs> Sukasa is like level hundred and Senku and his team are like you know level twenty thirty so yeah like what do you do in that situation? Um, at 2030 is a little bit too low um 50 you know 50 60 yeah that's that's more like it so <laughs> i don't know like um yeah they like like let's just wait and see how this goes now okay so this episode uh, first of all we see like they show us uh, what happened like in the past now i always like always had this kind of uh, like a uh, question that how did Senku like end up in that place where he was you know uh, like petrified and there was this like a cave there like I didn't really like understand that how did he like reach there so it kind of like explained that like I'm guessing like uh, there was this you know like obviously like so much time has passed uh, like uh, rain fell flood happened like some kind of flood or something and <clears throat> like the whole place like washed uh, was washed away and obviously like uh senku uh, yusidiha and taiji were kind of you know uh, at the same place so they like ended up in the same place even after being washed away by the water now i'm also like guessing like all the other you know students uh, of senku school are also you know uh, kind of uh, petrified here and there so who knows maybe they like they'll also be unpetrified later on uh, as the anime you know uh, goes on yeah and uh, yeah like we saw that like they showed us and i always al always had this curiosity as to how like you know senku was in that place and kind of ans answered that in this episode <clears throat> and uh, then we like get to the main bit that is the attack now the attack went extremely well like i thought like before the attack started i thought maybe they were going to you know mess up in some place like maybe the uh like you know plan won't go as they are envisioning it but like thankfully it went all according to plan everything how they like thought about it and in 20 seconds they captured the whole cave like all well and good but the only miscalculation they had was uh like um <coughs> yeah what was it sukasa I don't know why I forgot his name for a second there. Anyways, Sukasa and Yoga. Like the only miscalculation um like they had was them finding the telephone. And after finding it they understood what was happening and rushed in. And yeah, that was a big, you know, uh, big uh like miscalculation. Um then like then we get into the whole Sukasa portion now also okay before that i have to talk about a few things uh their inventions uh the first one uh was the sonic um i'm guessing what was that like i don't like they didn't give it any name like that sonic thing like they made which you know uh kind of <clears throat> like like kind of made the sound go in one direction so that thing like a bomb is a bomb like if you throw it it will just go like blast and the sound like sonic thing will you know kind of 
uh, be like dispersed in many direction but using this thing they were able to concentrate the whole uh, like power of sound in one direction and that like was even more powerful like you know like uh, small little things which are not so powerful but if like in extremely concentrated amounts they are put like it becomes a deadly thing for example sunlight you know like we all you know are like uh, <clears throat> go under sunlight nothing happens to us like we don't get burned but if you use a magnifying glass and uh, like concentrate the like sun rays in one point it can start a fire just like that so like they used the sound like sonar thing and like blasted off in in one direction that's why like you know they like were so you like overwhelmed by that sound but one thing <laughs> i really am unable to you know digest is taiju screaming into it you know like however strong taiju is i doubt <laughs> His vocal cords are so strong that he could completely wipe out that whole army behind him. But okay, like this is an anime, like <laughs> like a lot of things happens. Like obviously, like uh, like this is not something uh, we should take seriously. Like this is not a uh, you know autobiography or documentary that we'll see. It's an anime. We should all you know kind of enjoy it. <laughs> so yeah, and <clears throat> yeah, that and uh, is there was there anything else? Um let's see no i think that was the only invention they showed us the tank was already there we were already accustomed like we already knew what the tank could do so yeah and we saw it in action today you know like the way they like uh, <coughs> kind of explained it that like sulfuric acid and like charcoal and there was something else along like, along with it and also the carbon fiber you know uh, <coughs> shield <coughs> all of those things yeah and like they uh, <coughs> handled the whole <coughs> excuse me he handled the whole uh, process extremely well like you know uh, Taiju kind of becoming the tank of the team whole team um, uh, then like use uh, like uh, Kohaku kind of slashing off the weapons of the you know enemy uh, members <coughs> and <coughs> all of the others like you know kind of doing their own parts and yeah like everything was all okay they even captured the reporter girl uh the like uh, like as she was going to you know <coughs> kind of uh go and inform sukasa but yeah like it kind of uh, like uh you know bought some time but still like it was like it didn't even matter in the end like sukasa came in anyways but yeah they kind of like you know got a little bit of time in in there as nikki kind of captured her and Uki also like was there so yeah and <clears throat> all went well and good up until the you know first half of the episode then we like face a problem that is Sukasa and Yoga turns up quickly obviously because they uh, like found the uh, telephone thing uh, yeah and the first thing that he did like uh, I'm guessing that was Yoga I'm not sure who threw that uh, thing was like <clears throat> I don't know like injure Yukio and Ukyo like fell down like I was like what the hell actually happened there like um let me just you know check that portion like did Ukyo uh, like save Senku at that moment um let's just see just a sec like Ukyo uh, wants them like he says run and then okay here it is yeah yeah oh, oh no wait it happened so fast like we see uh Yoga and um Sukasa running and <clears throat> there's this like thing spear that they throw Ukyo looks at it Senku is kind of standing there and um, Ukyo kind of comes and like crashes onto Senku and Senku drops that thing the thing that he was holding uh, the gunpowder <clears throat> um, like so what happened like okay i think like no like ukyo himself was you know hit by that spear like uh, like ukyo did not come and save senku it was like the spear was directed at ukyo but it was so strong that oh my god like it was so strong that it took ukyo and like flung him onto senku like or did ukyo come and try to save senku from that 
and got hit in the process. I don't think so. I don't think that way. Like it happened like that because the way we see the scene, Ukyo is being flung, you know, flung from a distance. Like that's not how you save someone. Like I'm sure like he got hit by that spear and the velocity of it, the momentum of it kind of threw him and like he crashed into Senku. So that means that the spear kind of hit him extremely, like at an extreme power. So I'm quite concerned now. Like I don't know where he got hit, but yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we see uh, like Ukyo lying down and bleeding. Um, I don't know like where he got hit, but. Okay, then like uh, they enter like Skasa and um, Yoga and Yoga says that okay uh, like Senku you have a choice and Senku says that yeah I know that we have a choice that is like I shall give my life uh, in you know and you shall like <laughs> leave the other people behind like you should like spare the other people and like like Taiju kind of freaks out at that obviously like like that's something to freak out because he saw like Sengu kind of dying before and like coming back to life again anyways and uh, like then Sengu says like one thing is that it's not the same and yeah it's true you know like at that moment Sengu was only like Sengu was there and you know Sengu and like they got they had a hostage that was Yuzuriya so Senku was at a big disadvantage like he had nothing there that like Yuzuria was taken hostage so he had to you know uh, go alongside like Sukasa's uh, like you know Sukasa what he wanted to do like kill Senku off like, he had to go along with it because otherwise uh, like he would probably harm Yuzuria or do something anyways and um, so yeah like he was at a big disadvantage like Taiju was not there he was alone all of those like negative like stuff at the same time so like yeah like it's kind of tr true you know uh that like now there are like so many of them like like you know senku can probably do something now and so yeah and um like <sighs> kohaku and all of the others try to stop them but yoga himself kind of you know <laughs> like you know like lands on the ground and the shock wave kind of throws everyone off like so damn powerful and that's just your yoga and i i doubt like uh, like sukasa is going to be any easier like sukasa would be probably even like you know 10 more times stronger than yoga my god so yeah probably he would probably you know kind of fling them off in like using his one hand <laughs> like he's just like that anyways like he likes you know he sumo wrestled with a like with a lion there was a lion wasn't it from season one yeah i think so <laughs> oh my god anyways um yeah and then like uh like taking that time taking that distraction uh senku and chrome goes back to the cave now and senku has uh like i think that was a pipette you know pipette uh the thing that you use to you know take something like uh, a liquid uh, that pipette so I'm not sure what he's going to do with that. He's probably going to take some nitric acid and then what? Like, what is he even going to do with that? Like, uh, I kind of thought, like, did they, you know, kind of uh, keep something in the cave for some kind of emergency purposes or whatnot? I'm not sure if they did it, but uh, maybe, like, obviously, like, Senku has, must have some kind of a new plan, different plan, uh, some kind of a backup plan, you know? Like, you should always keep some backup plans, like plan A, plan B, plan C so yeah like that especially in these kind of situations so i'm sure like senku's not an idiot like like yeah obviously like senku's the smartest person here so he must have have some other kind of backup plan so i think he's like going to do that so yeah like we can just imagine we can just guess what he's going to do but most problem like most probably he's going to use that nitric acid somehow but how he's going to use that we have to just wait for it so yeah and as i said before like the only concern i have is um for ukyo and how he is you know kind of fallen on the ground bleeding out i'm not sure what is going to happen 
like he's losing blood you know and especially in these kind of uh, uh like uh, an age like where there is no you know hospital nothing like obviously like senku is smart we know that but obviously if something bad happens you know if like extreme loss of blood or like something like uh, like someone like gets injured somehow like even if senku is so smart he won't be able to you know save a person's life like that because like he can just like help them like a uh, modern stuff like modern you know medical equipments he doesn't have those so like it's kind of impossible like especially in these type of like time where there's nothing to save people like so that's why like that's the you know main concern here anyways uh, we'll just have to wait and like you know wait and watch so yeah guys that was it that was this episode um this was uh, dr stone season 2 episode number 8 so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out um, so yeah guys um, i'll be back with another episode of dr stone season 2 next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day